everyone meet Nala, Nala meet everyone. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, my name is Grace and today I'm going to be doing the booktube newbie tag. thought today I'd give the booktube newbie tag a go, there's 10 questions and it'll help you guys to get to know me a bit better feel like I can introduce myself a little bit. In my first video I went for, I dived in head first and I went for the highest and lowest books of my 2023 reading year. But I thought it'd be nice if we get to know each other a little bit better and I can introduce myself to you guys. So welcome, today is the booktube newbie tag. My name is Grace and let's, let's have a party. Let's have a tea party. Oh God, okay. I believe there's 10 questions. I took this inspiration from, I believe it's Nicole's Knock, but I will tag her down below. Question number one, why did you start this channel? I started this channel because reading and books are my main passion and hobby, and I don't really have anybody to have like in-depth discussions with about them. And so if I'm reading a really, really juicy book and you know I don't really have a designated friend for me to call up and be like, girl oh my gosh it's a really lovely online community that i feel like i want to be a part of and i want to have nice discussions about books with lovely lovely people and i've been an, like an avid watcher of booktubers for quite a long time now jack edwards destiny sidwell sarah caroli and i only really got back into reading like fiction for fun last year before that i was either reading oh careful girly careful it's chaos, 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 chaos. And before that, I was either reading non-fiction of helpy style books, or I was reading for university. So it was like classical, kind of very analytical way of reading. Whereas now I'm very much reading for fun, mood reading, choosing books just based off of, am I gonna like this vibe right now at this point in time? I thought I'd put my two pence in and give it a go. <laughs> I'd say the main reasons are community, somebody to talk to about books, and also to like test myself a little bit. This is all brand new to me. Filming, editing, audio, it's all brand new. So I thought it'd be like a nice little challenge for myself and a sort of creative output a little bit. I work a nine to five, so I feel like it's nice to have something creative to do on the weekends and the evenings where I can really like put my yeah, creativity into it and express things that I'm enjoying in my outside of work life. That is my answer to question number one. Question number two, what are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube? Because I studied English literature at uni, I feel like I have that side of reading where it's quite like analytical, looking for themes and literary devices and meaning and like all that kind of juicy stuff. And now I'm sort of transi transitioning into a period of reading where it's like, like I said before, mood reading, trying different genres, trying things that I wouldn't have tried before, like romance, romanticy, having a look at what's actually popping in the contemporary era and giving it a go. And if I don't love it, that's absolutely fine, but I've tried something new. I think what I can bring is this like dual side to it where I've done the degree side of reading and now I'm doing the... I'm actually getting back into it for myself for fun and I want to share it with people and hear what you guys have to say and hear what other booktubers have to say and take recommendations and it's just like a big old exploration, a big old journey that I feel like I'm sort of setting sail on. <laughs> Question three, what are you most excited about for this new channel? I would say I'm most excited to read new genres, new authors to sort of prioritise reading as a hobby in my everyday life and sort of yeah just get really stuck into this whole world that's been created online where we can then all go out to bookshops buy a book and have a shared experience and we can like discuss what we thought about it and what's the word like techy side of it like the filming the editing figuring all of that out it excites me so yeah just kind of like a brand new thing for me to try but it's also allowing me to expand on an already existing hobby to try new genres new authors and to read more <laughs> to be honest i feel like this will make me want to read more number four why do you love reading great question growing up my mum was an english teacher 
I feel like my setup when I was younger was to really appreciate books and literature from a very young age, um, which I really am very grateful for now. I really love how out of all the art forms, a book is such like a solitary practice. Like most of the time, somebody writing a book, it will be one person sat in a room in their house with a laptop or a piece of paper and they're writing their from their experience and their perspective on the world onto a little sheet of paper, like words on a page. There's obviously editors and all of that involved in the end, but the kind of initial process is very much one person and a pen or one person and a laptop and then that book goes out and me sitting here in my flat and somebody on the other side of the world can read that book and have exactly the same experience of it we can cry at the same points laugh at the same points love it or we could have completely different experiences of the same thing and I could give it five stars and somebody else could think it's kind of meh. Words on a page can create such visceral experiences for different people. I also think it takes the most amount of like personal imagination. If you're watching a film or a TV series, you're kind of getting those images fed to you and your brain's processing it. But when you're reading, you're reading words on a page, which then creates an image in your brain, which then creates these emotions, which then, <laughs> leads to loving or not loving as much a book. I also think it's such an amazing thing to have this like shared community where people will share books that they love. And I also feel like it's a really positive space. It's not very negative. So yes, that's what I love about reading everything, apparently. What book or series got you into reading? So I would say if we're talking really young, it would have been Roald Dahl's books, Witches, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Matilda, the very like classic British, like I'd say that's pretty like traditional in a British household is growing up with Roald Dahl books. Like I said before, I was encouraged from quite a young age to read quite classical literature. So then it was things like Jane Eyre, Wuthering Heights. But I would say as like a teenager, choosing the books that I wanted to read. I, I, the first series, right, so if we're being serious, Harry Potter, of course, was like the first series that I read and it like took over my entire life. We used to go to the midnight releases of the books, the midnight releases of the films. It was a huge deal in my family. We are big Harry Potter people. I got into secondary school. I read the series, The Mortal Instruments with the like shadow hunters. And honestly, that took over my life. I absolutely loved that series i remember going into school and talking to people about it as if they were reading it as well they weren't and i was talking about it as if it was a series i was watching on telly and i wanted to like talk about what the next plot twist was i absolutely loved that series and the other day i was in a charity shop and i saw all the books in a row they had the whole box set and with all the, all the painted spines for like seven pounds i had to buy it and i now have it on my bookshelf pride of place it's beautiful. And I really want to try rereading those books like as an adult because I think they might be YA, but I just remember absolutely adoring them as a teenager. So I'm going to have to reread them at some point. But that's the first series that I remember being like obsessed with. I obviously read the Twilight series, loved them. That's the books and series that got me into reading. Question six, what questions would you ask your favourite booktubers? I think... I would ask how you read so much. So I read when I have time, I read when I want to, it's more of like a, uh, a hobby. Do you have a designated amount of time that you sit down and you wanna read for, like a couple of hours, or do you read until you don't want to anymore? Do you have like quite a disciplined, my tra the train is going past so it's quite loud, sorry. Do you have quite like a disciplined approach to it or is it more relaxed than that? You know, some booktubers are some booktubers are reading like 200 books a year, and that's crazy. I mean, it's amazing, but that's crazy. I think that's my main question. That's my main question. What challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? I think probably twofold this question. The first one being I've never done any of the like software or like hardware part of filming before filming, editing, audio, all of that will be very much a learning curve for me, something I'm very excited to learn to do, but that I think is probably one of the main things. And then secondly, making sure I'm like making the time for this because I really enjoy doing this and I also really love reading. But yeah, I would say the kind of 
logistical side of it and then also the timing side of it but all things that we can iron out I am sure when did you start reading I don't remember ever read I don't remember reading never I don't ever remember reading not being in my life it's always been a very prime and center thing in my childhood bedroom I had a big wooden bookshelf that was covered in books and there's like different worlds and pick one up and just kind of immerse myself in it and I think that's honestly been a love of mine for a very long like since I remember yeah a very young age I remember going to my mum and dad when I was like seven years old and being like can I read Anne Frank's diary and they said yes Number nine, where do you read? Either read in bed in the morning and evening, but I get quite sleepy if I read in the evening. I read on my sofa during the day with like the sun coming in through the windows, but honestly, mainly on my commute. <laughs> I read on the tube. My commute to work is like an hour and a half there and an hour and a half back. So I always have a book with me. I always make sure that because I feel like when you live in London, everything takes like an hour to get to. And if you're constantly, if you're always going places or you're always going to work, I didn't, like I was getting so bored of just listening to music, playing solitaire. So I always have a book with me now or I have something downloaded on my Kindle on my phone so that you were, by the time you arrive at your destination, you feel like you've done something with your time. Like you've used that time wisely. You've done something that you enjoy while sitting on a tube with someone's armpit in your face bash out some reading, it makes me feel good, it makes me like block out the world around me, immerse myself in a world on the page and me on my commute, like, <sighs> crazy. Just having a jolly old time, you know? Number 10, what kind of books do you like to read? This has changed a lot over time, I, but I did my dissertation on Virginia Woolf, she was my babe at uni absolutely adore her work. I think I enjoyed really abstract literature, like ways of writing that were very much about human experience. And she writes in stream of consciousness. So it was a really interesting and abstract way of looking at the human experience. So that's what I enjoyed at uni. And then post uni, I had a big old phase of reading self-help, non-fiction, books and to be honest I don't think I actually enjoyed that period of my life reading wise there's a there's a time and a place for a self-help book for a non-fiction book but I think if that's all that that you're taking in it can get quite deep and I think since last year and since starting to read like fiction for fun again romance romanticy fantasy I forgot what it's like to just read a book for the giggles like just to read a book, open it, just have a good old time. Like it doesn't need to be to better yourself or to learn something new every single time. It can just be because you fancy a little giggle, a cry. You really think I've become a better person, a happier person since reading fiction again for fun. But just seeing life happen in all these different ways. Like, you know, those people who, well, I'm kind of one of those people, but I want to live like 10 different lives in my one life. You can do that when you read books. It's so cool. So um, what was the question? Since my fiction for fun journey began, if I look on my story graph, it's probably gonna really expose me right now. My story graph says that I mainly read fiction books that are emotional, reflective, and dark. Typically chooses medium paced books that are 300 to 500 pages long. So that's kind of like a summary. Um, but I would say my favorite authors from last year were Jessica Andrews and Emily Henry so if that gives you like an idea of what I'm into at the moment um oh it's 11 11 make a wish I'm also very much open to trying so many different genres so many different authors I really do try a bit of everything so I will delve into wow the sun is out hello up for trying absolutely anything uh, and that's what I'm most excited about really yeah I think that's everything I think that's my my booktube newbie tag complete if you have any questions for me let me know in the comment section this has been a delight hopefully you guys feel like you know me a little bit better now I look forward to making more of these videos and reading lots of books and having a jolly old time with it so thank you for joining me and I will see you next time bye guys